Hi everyone, my name is Meredith Jones. This is my Makers Movement project. It's called Soccer Skills. I'm doing the primary 1 to 10 health and phys ed, so I thought it would be nice to um, do the two things that I enjoy the most. So uh, let's get started. I have a home page, um, a contact and about me page, a project overview page, and a project content page. So firstly, the home page, that's just your go to page when you first go into any website. Um, if you scroll down, it gives you a little bit of information about um, what to expect from the task, um, what is on the blog, why I created the blog, um, and just a basic sort of overview of what to expect um, for the upcoming task. Um, I found a cute little picture of a soccer ball, and then there's my um, references and my um, creative comment comments um, icons at the bottom. Uh, next we'll go up to contact and about me. So this is just a page obviously about me describing uh, my background with uh, sport and my where I'm at with my um, university studies, why I chose to do uh, phys ed and education and there's a little bit about how I have an art background. Um, it also explains um, how I'd like to be uh, seen as a teacher and how I'd like to come across and how I'd like to um, work with my learners. Um, I created a content contact form. I couldn't get it to load all the way, but if you click on that page, it will take you to the form that I created. Um, and if you go below that, there's my references for the page and it's got um, clickable websites so that it can take you to the form, to the Creative Commons, um, and to where I got my photo for the banner. Okay, next we'll go to Project Overview. Okay, so Project Ed Overview goes through all of the nitty gritty. So we've got the teaching area, the age, um, the band description from ACARA. It goes through um, all of the various curriculum that I've found that matches nicely with it. So we've got um, health and phys ed, we've got digital technologies, and we've got literacy. Okay, if you go down, then we've got learning outcomes, what we're hoping to um, have the students end when they finish, what they're gonna get out of it. Um, the project topic, prior knowledge, the task description, and then we've got a couple of um, links for them to go to iMovie to find out um, how to get onto iMovie and shortcuts so they can choose between them depending on which um, sort of operating system they have, if they have Windows or if they've got Apple. And then YouTube uploader um, so they know where to upload their video once it's all finished. Then we have technology and end product which just goes through um, what they're going to do, uh, how they're going to do it, what they're going to use in class, iPads, computers, if they're going to use their phones to record or GoPros to record. Um, and that's about it. And then down here we've got precision space and project um, presentation space and project audience. And for that it just explains where we're going to do the um, where and when and who it's going to be aimed at. So we're going to have um, year eights um, on the final um, session of eight weeks of lessons um, and it will just be in their physical classroom. So then we have the achievement standard, the rationale, so why and why we're doing all these things, meaningful learning going through the authentic, cooperative, intentional, active learning and constructive learning and um, tying it back to why we're doing it with soccer skills. And then a little uh, explanation about the makers movement and then there's my references at the bottom. Scroll, scroll. there's a lot on that one. Um, and then my little um, Creative Commons. Last is project content. So this is um, explaining what we're going to do on each week. Um, so it's not really lesson plans, they're very brief. Um, and with this one it has uh, how to pass a soccer ball um, with an inside kick. And then it'll give you sort of step by step of how to do that. And then scroll down. Lesson two, how to perform an in-step kick and why. Um, Next one is how to head a soccer ball. Again, it's just got step by steps and then there's a video for them to look at so they can um, get a good idea, then they can practice. 
uh, lesson four, learning how to juggle the soccer ball. Uh, so juggling the ball on your knees, feet, shoulders, head. Um, and it sort of gives you step by step and again, a video. Now, all of these would be, you would go over all the information in class for 20 minutes and do the theory side of it. And then they would go outside and do the practical for 25 minutes with their partner that they're working on the assignment with. So that way they can, um, get the hands on practice as well, and then start to think, mm, do I want to do this skill or do I want to do a different skill? Um, and then lesson five is playing a game where they try to put all of those skills into practice. So um, juggling doesn't often come up in games, but there's always a way to get it in. You get a ball off the shoulder, you take a ball in your knee, and then, you know, there's always a way. Um, so it's sort of trying to get people to um, have a go at it. Um, and then lesson six is students practice filming their partner using the skills learned over the previous weeks. So that's when they would bring their cameras and their GoPros. Um, if they don't have either of those things, they could bring an iPad from the classroom um, to do their filming. And then they'd start the process of thinking how they want to do it, um, what they need to film, how are they going to do step-by-step -step photos? Are they going to do the videos and then do stop-start? Um, photos in between and then lesson seven is when they start to get to use iMovie or shortcut and start to actually work on their projects put it together start the editing start working out how things work and how to put text in and if they want to narrate over the top how do they do that how do they put music over the top if they want to do that um, and then lesson eight is the video presentations where they would just um, each pair or group would get up in front of the class and present their video um, and they do that each each group and each um, partnership would do that throughout the lesson um, then it's got the end product instructions and then at the bottom there's my video version um, of the end product and then my references so that's everything I hope that you like it and it's not too terrible and um, thanks very much